Sorry about the fade there. We uh, had to put the little baby bed to bed. She's asleep now. Shh, for a while. Right. So, the next thing we have is pick a lily, lovely little clothes for lovely little people. As I said before we were so rudely interrupted. Um, I'm uncertain what this is. I thought I was getting nappies and some cheeky wipes, which we will see in a minute. But there's other things. Ooh. So, I'm going to open this up. I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, so we have a swaddle. A swaddling blanket by the look of it. There's a little, cute little birdie tag thing. Um, Multi-purpose muslin wrap. Soft and breathable. Wraps perfect for swaddling, nursing, feeding, feeding burping. We had a bit of a hiccup with the... Um, Grammar there, apparently feeding burping and more. I don't know what feeding burping is, but uh, yeah, there we go. And it's got little uh, apples and fish. Oh no, it's not fish, it's the leaves. <laughs> I'm an idiot, sorry. It's, it is apples with little red leaves on, see? So that's very pretty, it's very nice. It's got little instructions for swaddling on the back. Um, I think our baby's gone a bit past that, but it's very nice. All the same, it is very pretty. Well, it's we know nice. who will be getting that. Yes, we do. Although, of course, it completely depends on what area you're in as to whether they recommend swaddling or not. So, you know, but that is very, very nice. And it'd be a nice summer blanket as well. So if it's as hot, gets as hot as last year, you won't want a woolly thing or anything like that. So yeah, that's very sweet. Very sweet indeed. I like it. Uh, so next, we have some more nappies. Oh! And, actually, let's go back to the dryer egg. Dryer egg fragrance sticks for use with your eco egg dryer egg. Um, I guess you put them in. Uh, simply place the eco egg dryer eggs in the drum. Oh, it smells really nice, actually. I can smell, mm, it. I can smell it from here, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. God, that smells really nice. I'm not sure what it's supposed to smell like. It says cotton. Nobody really knows what cotton smells like, do they? Uh, but whatever cotton smells like, this smells really good. <laughs> um, 40 dries it lasts, apparently. So I think you just put it in your egg and it makes your clothes smell really nice. And it will, actually, because that is... I'm just going to sit here and sniff it. That's really good. Right, so we'll put that with the eco egg. There we go. Uh, furthermore... We have more nappies. This, oh, this one's nice and unwrapped. So this is quite useful because now I can show you what's what's what. I'm not exactly sure what kind of nappy this is. It hasn't got a tag on it or anything like that to show you what it is. Um, in fact, it doesn't seem to come undone either, but I'm going to hazard a guess and say, oh no, here we go. Right. Oh, I found a label. I have found a label. This is an easy peasy nappy by easypeasynappies.co.uk and inside we've got this insert. This is the nice absorby bit. This feels like a kind of fleecy bit. Fleece really helps keep your baby dry. Um, the force of when they wee goes through the fleece because the fleece is a synthetic material it can't come back out because there's not enough force to push it through. So all the nasty wetness stays underneath it and then they have a nice dry bum so that's good to know so you've got this pocket here stuff it with this if your baby's a bit older or is particularly heavy wetter stuff it with more things um wrap it up and this i believe will need a wrap to go over the top you can get waterproof wraps for if you're using nappies like this um which you know don't actually have the waterproof layer on the outside uh, they come in some really funky patterns and they're just waterproof and you just put it over the top do them up and then they don't obviously leak through all of this <laughs> but this could be quite good a nice little alternative to a terry nappy you don't have to fold it you just put it on like an ordinary disposable so that's cool and this looks like birth to potty as well it's got an awful lot of poppers that's very cute gonna try that Oh, we've got more pick a lily things. I'm going to open this. This looks like it might be vests. 
I'm properly impressed with this. I thought it was going to be nappies and that was it. But this, this is not to six months. Again, it's going to be a bit, that is cute. These are really good. This is a kind of sleep suit thing. And we found these really useful when ours was a baby because when they're tiny babies, their legs are all skinny like monkeys and <laughs> um, nappies don't tend to fit properly. So you do get quite a few more leaks, not necessarily with these with disposables as well. You get a few more leaks when they're tiny than when they're big. And these are little night dresses. So you don't have to undo all these poppers or do any of that nonsense. You just open the bottom, their little feet poke out, which is also really good when you're feeding them at night because they've got little warm, cozy feet and you play with their feet. Uh, and then you just roll it up. Their bums come out, change them, roll it back down again. And you don't have to fiddle around in the dark going, oh my God, where's the poppers? And oh, oh my God. Yeah, you don't need that. So that's quite cool. And in fact, I think that would probably fit Dorothy now she's one. It's quite a generous size, not to six months. And it's got a lovely little pattern of little stars. That is really cute. I like it very much. Little green stars. Ah. Oh. And the last one, oh, bum genius. And these are genius. These are my, well, it's a toss up between these and the close parent nappies really, but they are pretty damn good. Uh, never had any problem with these. These are great. So I'm really chuffed about these. This is a free time, I think, which is again, one of the birth to potty ones. And I'm gonna open this up. Ooh. Ah, okay. Might not be a free time. It's one of the other style ones. Okay, I'm gonna show you this, because this is kind of what a wrap looks like when you have the waterproof wraps that you use over the top of things like this. It's just a shell like that, okay? With this one, it's got the pocket attached to it, which you stuff with these lovely bits here, stuff it in, put it in the pocket, wrap it up. But obviously, if you're using one of those, you just have the shell. So yeah, that is awesome. Bum Genius are also extraordinarily leak proof. So they're good. Well, so the last thing, last but by no means least, uh, is a Cheeky Wipes washable wipes kit. What? Oh no, I like these. <laughs> ah, these are yes. good. We do like these. We've actually already got some of these. So once again, well actually I won't undo that because, oh no, I will. I will undo it. I'll show you what's in there. Right. Because of course, when you're using nappies, it's not just the nappies you got to throw away. It's all the wipes as well. And wipes can be very expensive. Um, depends where you buy them from. Now these are little squares all sewn up nicely of, um, you can get various things. I think these might be microfiber, I'm not sure. Uh, I can't see. But you can get terry nappy ones, microfiber ones, and bamboo. The bamboo's really soft, which is lovely and nice on their buns, especially if they do get a little bit of nappy rash. Um, you need something a bit soft. So you've got these little squares, which are the wipes. You've got this little box, which you fill up to this first line here with water or the second line, depending on how wet you want them, but fill it up. Put a nice essential oil in to make it smell nice. This one is lavender and chamomile essential oil blend. I can actually smell it from mm. here again. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, lavender and chamomile. Cheeky Wipes do their own kind of branded ones, um, but you can literally use any essential oil that's okay to go on baby skin. So if you go to your chemist or pharmacy or anywhere like that, then just buy a, you know, it's just essential oil. So there's no need to buy them from Cheeky Wipes, really. Um, yeah, so a few drops of that, put the water in, put them in like that, squish them down, close it up, and then you just take them out. And the really good thing about these is badly I've been using 
normal, you know, disposable wipes recently. Um, I need to get back into using our cheeky wipes, really. Uh, is that when you pick out one, a hundred million trillion others don't come with it, which is the problem I've been having with normal wipes. So you're trying to hold a baby in place, you're trying to get a wipe out, and then the entire packet comes out. And where you wanted to use one wipe, you in fact use ten, and then, oh my god. But you don't get this problem with those, because you just pick it up, and it's great. And that's good. And here, you get a little bag as well, which is waterproof, thankfully. And that's the one you put your little damp um, wipes in, so you can put them in your nappy bag, and off you go. So there you go. And you just stick them in the wash. Uh, the kit we've got has got a little mesh bag with it and a bigger box, which is a, a mucky box. So when you take them out, you just put them in the mucky box and then you take the net out and stick it all in the wash. Uh, this particular one is a smaller pack, it doesn't come with that, but you can put it in with your nappies and, you know, if you've got a nappy bucket, then stick the used wipes in there and put them all in together. So that, I'm really confused as to how they fit all this in there, because that seems to take up the whole space and I'm now not sure how this happened, but anyway, I'll try again, I'll put that in there. Yeah, so I am really, really impressed. There is more in here than I thought there was going to be. I mean, that is just fantastic. So if you are interested in reusable nappies, reusable things, the fact that they're very, very pretty really helps. <laughs> um, this competition in particular was run by the Reusable Nappy Association, which you can find on Facebook. Uh, this was all sent by... I got an email saying delivery was from the Nappy Lady, which is an online shop and various things like that, but I got a feeling that lots of different sellers donated, although I wish there was... That's how what I think happened. If it was all the Nappy Lady, I do apologise, Nappy Lady, and thank you ever so much. Um, but I've got a feeling that there are a few different traders that kind of contributed, and so thank you all to you as well, although there's not a list of who you all are. Um, in your particular area, some councils run a real nappy scheme where you can borrow a bunch of real nappies when you have your baby, try them out, see what works, and then you can get a discount off. In Plymouth, it's called the Plymouth Real Nappy Project, um, which you can find on Facebook. And yeah, you find anything on Facebook. Just type real nappies into the internet and you'll find stuff. Uh, yeah, and that's it really. I'm very excited. I've got lots of pretty things. It's definitely all for me. Um, yeah, we had a question as well. So we were going to give away these dryer eggs because we don't have a tumble dryer. Dryer egg and... God, that was really... I might not give this away. Just sniff it. Mm, right. And the question is... How many nappies have I just unpacked from that box? How many? And you can message us. Uh, leave a comment. Leave a comment. No, no, because then people will read the other people's comments and they won't have worked oh. out. That, yeah, see? You send a message or something. Okay. Yeah? Comment and message. It's got to be both. So we can get people commenting on it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Comment that you've sent a message? Yep. Comment that you've sent a message. <laughs> you got till the end of June. Last day of June. Last day of June, how many nappies came out of this box? Just nappies, not accessories, not wipes, not muslin cloths, just nappies. How many of those came out of this box here? Tell me, and then we will send you dryer eggs. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's it, really. I don't have a silly tagline to put on the end. I mean, what does Chris say? Um, I mean, Brick Geek, what does he say? What do you say? I just say bye. Oh, he just says bye, apparently. Bye. <laughs>